Just remember whatever you can, the connection with your divine self, with the greater divine of all divinities. Yeah? Always try to remember. When you eat, you thank God. When you drink, you thank God. Uh, when you even go to the toilet, you thank the trees for the toilet paper. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, we cut down billions of trees every year just to throw it in the toilet. And else, huh? it's, uh, it's not all recycled. It's new trees all the time. And we are using it without appreciation for the trees, without feeling sorry for the trees, without thanking the forest, nothing. So we always, everything we do here, everything we have here, it should be a reminding of our gratitude toward the whole universe, for all the comfort, for all the creation that bless us, help us, sacrifice for us every day. Even whatever we do, we never do enough to repay all this. So I just pray that you practice enough so that you can share some of the spiritual merit to these creations around you. The earth you walk on, the air you breathe, the sky that open their arms, uh, their arms all day for you, give you the beautiful color to soothe your eyes and to feel, you know, that you are enlarged, that you are not suffocating in a small area somewhere, but you have the whole sky and all the trees that give in oxygen and give their shade and give their fruit and all the vegetables. Yes, that give their lives to your life. Everything that uh, we need or we ever have or we use is a reminding us of the connection with all things and of the divine. So we thank God, yes, thank all the God and Goddesses and God Almighty for everything we have. And we apologize to all beings for what damage we have done or doing to them accidentally or sometimes intentionally, for our need, for our comfort. Many beings suffer sacrifice for us. So use every opportunity to remember that we are in connection with all, that we are in debt to the divinity in all beings, and we thank them all. Never forget. Never, never forget when you eat, when you drink, when you go to the bathroom, when you use the soap even. As they came from some, some tree somewhere, some olive tree, maybe coconut oil, even the sea that produce sea wheat that make the soap, the salt from the sea or from the mine, everything is uh, produced to our comfort. And therefore, whenever we use it, we should always remember God. Okay? Yeah. We thank all beings and we thank God. But at least we thank Him. Okay? Yes. Even if we have money to buy, if we, we feel we deserve it, if we, even if these things are just daily use and we don't even think about it anymore. But we should use it to, to remind us, okay? To be connected. All right? All right. Yes. Ah, that's also practicing, eh? I do that also, ne? That's a tip I give you. <laughs> I never forget when we're breathing, we're also harming a lot of invisible beings. So every day, if you cannot appreciate all the time, in the morning you appreciate for good days that are coming and or for all the protection that you see or not see. In the evening you thank for all the good days that had passed and for all the things that you had that make your life a heaven on earth, even if sometimes it's uh, uncomfortable here, but it's still everything is toward us, to, to give us comfort and to make our life very beautiful here. We are a very lucky group of people. Mm. Having money is not necessarily a lucky omen, yeah? 
we are lucky because we have enough to, to live on and we have spiritual power to lean on eh? in time of trouble, in time of uh, despair. Many people don't have, don't have a fraction of what we have. So we always have to remember to thank. When we're thanking the Divine, we also connect it with the Divine, not just when we are meditating. Okay? Yeah? And we have to thank the water god, the rain god. We thank all the gods. I cannot thank all of them, but whenever I remember, if I use water, I thank the water god. <laughs> if I use vegetable, I, I thank all the vegetable that sacrifice for me, and thank the, the fairy, the god that take care of them so that they grow nicely, deliciously. Thank the tree that give me the fruit, even though I don't see that tree. But through the fruit, I thank the tree that has given me such beautiful, delicious fruit. And I bless the tree. Yes, yes. And I share some spiritual merit point for their evolution. If I accidentally hurt an ant or something, I share my spiritual merit point with them. Any beings, I share every day. And that's how we are always keeping in touch yeah, with all creation. And through the all creation, we thank the gods and goddesses and the Almighty for creating them, for helping us. Okay? That's also meditation. Always remember God. Yes. And through the creation, we remember who creates them and who bless them <laughs> and who create the creators. <laughs> so we thank them all. Every day I thank them. I wrote in my diary every time. Every day I thank many times. When I wrote my spiritual merit point down, or what I have done good today, or what I have found, some new uh, spiritual divinity or something, or that uh, uh, some deeper level of divine connection, whenever, every day I thank, I write, thank you infinitely, <laughs> all of you who helps me. Even I, as a master on this planet, I still need help. See, so I thank everyone. I thank someone who cooked for me. I thank the, the rice plants. I thank the water. I thank the earth. And I thank all the heaven guardians and the angels who protect me every day as much as they can, and all the gods and goddesses who appear in my life in physical form or invisible form to help me in many ways, yes? Even if a king, he needs help, you see what I mean? A king, he rules the whole nation, but he needs his army to protect his palace. He needs uh, the cook to cook for him. He needs someone who prepare his clothes. Everyone needs some, someone or something. So we keep always this gratitude uh, spirit within our heart, always keep thanking. Whenever we thank, we always remember God, because it's God who created them. Hmm? I mean, indirectly, no? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, all right.